We've got a couple of questions here, one from Mike who's asked, uh, I'd like to know if peak torque you sit ignition timing advanced there or back off a degree or so for safety uh, or unless you see knock is it fine to leave there and Angel I think it is is asked when the engine stops making torque should I retard the timing one to two degrees for safety. This is actually a really common question that I get and uh, the answer is it, it's going to depend on the particular engine, the specific power level and what you're trying to achieve. Essentially if you've got an engine where the mechanical components that have gone into that engine are well and truly up to the task and we aren't operating on the, the brink of detonation then there's absolutely no good reason why we would retard the timing. There's no advantage or necessity to retard the timing. Uh, however if we are tuning an engine where the engine is quite prone to detonation, is quite sensitive to detonation and particularly if we're tuning an engine that's going to be used very very hard. Uh, a good example of this would be if it was going to be an endurance circuit race engine where we know that it's going to be beaten up on really hard lap after lap for hours on end, then the heat build up inside those cylinders may make the engine more prone to detonation. In these conditions it might be quite smart, quite sensible to actually purposely detune the ignition timing a little bit from MBT. So it really depends exactly what we're trying to to achieve. I'll give you another example there as well. One of the uh, engines I was involved with tuning on a number of years ago was a Mitsubishi 4G63 uh, where we were at the time going to attempt for the stock block world record. Now this means that we're running factory components in terms of pistons and connecting rods. Now the connecting rods in the 4G63 are pretty good but uh, they're not bulletproof so uh, what we purposely did there was detune the ignition timing around the peak torque area uh, of the tape. Uh, so that this is where peak cylinder pressure is occurring and this helps protect and safeguard the con rod. So a variety of different reasons there where we may choose to retard the timing. That question was taken from one of our free live lessons. If you like free stuff and you're the type of guy who wants to expand your knowledge, click the link in the description to claim your free spot to our next live lesson. You'll learn about performance engine building and EFI tuning, and you'll also have the chance to ask your own questions which I'll be answering live. Remember it's 100% free so follow the link to claim your spot.